For me one of the single most enjoyable elements of Odyssey is settlement raiding. It's probably the thing I've spent the most time doing in the game in the last 2 years. Mostly just because I really enjoy it. I'm often asked about the methods and kit that I use so today I'm going to go through a typical raid and talk about what I'm doing and why. In this video I'm using a fully upgraded and engineered Maverick suit and Executioner sniper rifle. You can see the specifics of that engineering on screen now. If you're just starting out with this stuff yourself the methods are almost entirely transferable but be sure to find yourself some pre-upgraded or engineered equipment first. I've also made a video about how to go about finding that stuff as well. You'll find that all linked below this video. There's obviously a number of ways you can go around taking down a settlement. I tend to use the, the silent, stealthy, uh, snipery method more than I do the noisy, non-snipery method. I've got, I've got the equipment to do it that way. It's just not my um, personal uh, playing style really. It tends to be a bit more stressful as well. And I don't do this for stress. I do this to be sneaky and creep around on rooftops and shoot people in the navel. The method I'm going to use here um, is transferable to just about any settlement. It doesn't matter if it's a hardcore military settlement or the softest agricultural settlement. It works no matter where you use it. I don't always take an SRV with me. I don't, I don't necessarily need to take an SRV with me. I've got no intention to use it in combat to be brutally honest. It's a really useful uh, sort of mobile wardrobe, somewhere to um, grab some more ammo if I need to, and somewhere to dump the materials when I gather them. It saves you going back to your ship, but you don't you don't really need one once you've been doing this um, a while anyway. If you feel you're going to need one, then yeah, obviously park it nearby, and it's a, it's a great way to escape if it all goes south, which when you first start doing this, it will, and that's okay. So once I'm outside the SLV, first thing I want to do, get off the ground and get up as high as possible and have a quick look around and just try and get a lay of the landscape and see what I'm facing and who I'm facing. At this early stage on the ground, um, you want to make your landings as soft as possible. So um, I try not to thump down and I use the jetpack to soften the fall when I come down. And at this early stage in particular, whenever I'm not in the air, so if I'm on a rooftop or on the ground, I will generally speaking be crouched. It makes you a lot less visible, makes you move a lot more, uh, a lot more quietly and, and makes you an awful lot more difficult to detect, which is very important at this stage. Here's a nice high spot from which to be unpleasant to everybody who lives here and today's first contestant. Quick look around to make sure I wasn't seen. You weren't paying attention, so you're next. Again, a quick look around. If you get detected, or if they if they detect that there's something going on but they don't know where you are, stop firing. Just stay crouched. That guy is obviously has seen a body. He's aware that something's going on. The worst thing you can do now is fire at him or at anyone nearby the chances are they'll detect where you are if you do that. And then all the alarms will go off and then it all goes south. This guy has also detected another body. <laughs> so he is for the moment safe. But I won't make any long term plans. There's someone there but I just want to check what's going on. There's no one nearby. Good night Vienna. Ariel just slightly getting in the way there, otherwise that guy would have gone for an early bath. He's still aware that something's going on, but he importantly, he's one of the um one of the civilian crew, so he hasn't got shields. He's not a particular danger to me, so even when they're alert, um, I'll shoot those guys. But the guards, if they've got a shield, um, I won't shoot them until they're not aware of what's happening. Like that guy. Remember to lead your target as well. The, the sniper rounds are very slow, so you have to lead your target quite significantly. If someone's walking walking towards me or walking away from me, that's absolutely ideal. 
even better if they're standing still, like that guy. <laughs> I try to avoid having to lead the target too much. I have got pretty good at it these days, but I'm not I'm not always accurate. That guy's aware, that guy isn't. And so he won't be home for dinner. No danger. Ooh. Okay, so round landed nearby him, so he knows something's going on. Again, the worst thing I can do now would be to fire at him again. So for the moment, he's safe. They sometimes, this guy isn't going to, but they sometimes, when they detect something happening nearby, they'll shirk it off really quickly and then just carry on walking slowly, in which case you can plap them. But this guy didn't. This guy went running off um, looking to see what was going on. So um, I left him for the moment. But as you can see, the settlement is already much quieter. I was waiting for that guy to come back, but he didn't. They normally kind of... Um, sometimes you'll find that they, they'll, they'll get alerted to something going on, and so they'll go and check out your SRV or go and check out your ship or something, but that, that guy didn't. He Well, he looked like he was going to do that, and then he didn't. He disappeared. So I made a mental note to um, catch up on him later. I was expecting him to reappear there back on patrol, but he didn't. I love all the ambient sound effects when you're at a settlement like this and seeing something like a T9 land. The scale of those things, it just it never gets old. So I put my gun away when I'm moving as well. Um... If they're, it's just a habitual thing these days, but if um, if you haven't got your gun out and you do get detected, it, it gives you another second or two before the guards get super suspicious, I find. And it's just, it's just become habitual now, so it's, it's kind of pointless me putting the gun away at this point because there are dead bodies everywhere. Nearly. Oh, so close. Um, there are dead bodies everywhere, so, you know, the game's kind of afoot, really. But it's just become habitual. And also, when you're on the ground, if you are running and you haven't got a weapon out, you'll run a little bit faster. So, interestingly... A little bit of a clump there when I landed on the floor. The guard heard me. Which is just a, a great demonstration of just how careful you have to be. So now I'm crouched, my weapon's away, and I'm just being super cautious. But that guy's not going home. But I'm not in sight um, of anyone else. I tend to, if I think of it, I tend to reload um, often as well. Just because you want to keep as many rounds in the gun as you can. There is, there's ammunition everywhere around these settlements and also um, as I mentioned earlier my, SR, my SRV is nearby so you're not gonna the chances of running out of ammunition are quite are quite low but um, you can afford to to reload the weapon to make sure you've got as, as many rounds in the magazine as you can possibly have for any potential engagement. So that guy that heard me was probably him. Yeah, there we go. He just put his shield away. Good night. And I'm reloading again. I don't need to, but I don't want it's going to happen two or three seconds from now, so I just reload habitually. So I don't know that I'm definitely in the clear at this point, but as you can see, um, there isn't an awful lot going on anymore. The, the herd has definitely been thinned out. I'm not. I'm not going to, at this point assume that I'm absolutely in the clear as far as the exterior is concerned anyway but it certainly is a lot, looking a lot quieter. That's going to be useful later on to know that there's a level 3 upstairs. This Maverick suit has got the enhanced um, scanning modification on it. I can't recommend it enough. The ranges at which you're able to scan targets um, and the speed with which it, it does it well, you can see it just it 
absolutely makes it worthwhile. So now I'm kind of looking around now for the the, um, the bodies that I've cleaned out. <laughs> um, I'm looking to see who's got the highest security access. You can obviously once you once you plap someone who's who's got um, you know any access is obviously useful, particularly in the early stages. Um, and you can jump down and 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 take their access immediately. But I just find it. As I, as I say, I tend to play very cautiously and I, I just find it too risky. So once I know the area is clear and, I'm, and it's extremely unlikely that I'm going to get spotted, I'll then look to start stealing some um, unfortunate soul's ID. It will seem to be um, level ones around here at the moment, which is fine. It's all useful. quick check just to make sure I'm not going to get seen and here's tonight's lucky contestant so when I do this I want to make sure I know uh, if I'm going to get attacked where it's going to come from so there's a quick look left and right jump down I keep my back to the protected area so I've got the I've got the open space in front of me I've taken it Check that guy out, no good. And then as soon as possible, back up on the roof again and put the scanner away. Just to minimise the um, the chances that you'll get seen. Again, no one around. Highest vantage point I can locally, just to make sure I know exactly what's going on. I can't see anyone. So certainly as far as the exterior is concerned, we're definitely in the clear now. Um, the next job is to identify what sort of settlement we're at where the alarm console is and to turn those alarms off there will still be a little bit of resistance indoors um, so job number one is get to the alarm console take care of any resistance between you and the alarm console turn that off and then you can do whatever you like with the settlement after that you won't be bothered by any exterior forces or defense forces or anything like that the place is yours so I switch to a nice high up view like this then go to the Odyssey map guide which you'll find linked below which is a really nice web application from Commander Quiz Engine that shows you a top down view of every type of settlement and where you'll find along with a load of other information it also tells you where you'll find the alarm console so you can go straight to it take it out and then the place is yours. Perhaps unsurprisingly the uh, alarm console for this particular settlement is in uh, the command building that I was opposite. This guy's not looking. So the job here now, I've only got a level one um, access card at the moment. So the job here is to get uh, as high a level access card as I possibly can. This guy has a two. I happen to know there's going to be other people upstairs. Um, the uh, Again, I happen to know in this particular settlement the... Um, the console that I'm looking for, the alarm console, is in the security office, which is downstairs. I've just walked past the door that leads to it, in actual fact. Um, but there's higher level access upstairs and a little bit of resistance. And this is a, this is another scenario where a fully silenced sniper rifle just comes in so useful. You can remove anybody from upstairs, like him. There's no reason you can't you can't use a sniper rifle indoors. It's it's really good for room clearing, actually. Does it nice and quietly. And there's a nice level three. Again, the security office I'm looking for is is immediately below me, down the stairs to my left there. It's there. I'm not going to go there yet, though, because I know there's someone wandering around downstairs. And there's a better door I can go through to get to it um, from a slightly more defendable position. There's a person in here as well. Good night, Vienna. And that should be it for this building, unless there's a guard downstairs. I might as well turn these off while I'm here. They very rarely cause me any problems, but there's no reason to leave them switched on. Reloading all the time. 
ammo, why not? So now we're going after the alarm console. So this, these are the stairs that I came up originally from the main reception area. And I found that this is the best way, the, from the most easily defendable way. You can, you, can, you can fully check your corners. You can be completely aware of where you're going and who's around you if you come in from this angle. the alarms. The place is now mine. You'd have to try pretty hard at this point to get dead. There's one more little technique I want to talk about um, that I use for clearing settlements all the time and it's a thing I call alamoing which is a way of uh, clearing a building without having to clear the building so that shot was just to get that guy's attention which made them stop, they're now dead. This is a fully silenced weapon, so no one would have heard that. So what I want to do now, this is why I always carry at least one noisy weapon with me. What I want to do now is bring everyone in the building to me so that I know the building's clear. And I can deal with them. So out comes the pop gun. This is a, a noisy plasma pistol. It's had no engineering done on it as such. It's just fully upgraded. A couple of shots to get people's attention. And then I basically wait for the traffic to head my way. It doesn't always work completely as advertised, as was the case um, in this particular incident. Here comes the first one. But they're a bit casual. They haven't. They, they're either not alerted or they haven't heard me. I think I probably wasn't far enough inside the building. But I've already got my shields on when I started taking fire from this guy. Lord alone knows where he came from, but that's okay because he's not a problem anymore. That was enough noise, and they all start coming towards me now. As I say, I've, this is a fully engineered Maverick suit. The shields are already on. The, these people are not a problem at all. Grenade salad for you. This guy was startled by the body and didn't come out from behind the pillar. So a little encouragement was required. Now he's out from behind the pillar. Yeah, so this kind of this basically works. It's generally better actually if you go fully inside the building, back yourself into the corner to my left, so that uh, so that you're inside the door. Um, let off a couple of rounds there, and it will generally speaking bring everybody to you after a few seconds. And it's just a really nice way of clearing the building. The lazy way, quite honestly, you don't have to walk to them; you just bring them to you. If you're starting from scratch with this kind of thing, make sure you start off with pre-engineered gear. Um, I've done a video about that already, about how to find that stuff, which you'll find linked below. I'm obviously using fully engineered and upgraded equipment here. The methodology that I used to get to this point was basically the same, um, with one or two wrinkles. Again, I made a video about that, which you'll also find linked below. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to make sure you see all our Elite Dangerous content and if you'd like to help support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also check us out on Patreon. Until next time, 07 Commanders.